Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the doomed bowling shoe world on Playframe. Really sounds like a Mad Lib of a <laughs> world theme when I say it out loud, but that's the beauty of Psychonauts, isn't it? You can be going to a world that is truly bizarre, and if you just saw it, completely devoid of context would seem like a completely random theme idea, and yet, when you see it in context, all of it makes sense and reflects back on the characters involved and their stories. And that is just so wonderful. And clever. Have you found your path? Are you ready for the tenth frame? I hope so. But yeah, this like using all of this for characterization is so those germs aren't lying about the end of the world. Alright, I'm going. Got all the figments. Uh Okay, this should be good. But yeah, like, using world design for characterization like this is something that few other games and platformers can do. And I really love that they, uh, that this game does it so well. That all these games do so well. Whoa. Hello. You two. Hey, it's Ford and Lucy. This is gorgeous. Sorry. Getting closer. Didn't mean to ruin your date. It's Hello. Here. Just like I said. Here comes the big. It's the spring. end of spring. It's the big one. Bring it's so up. beautiful. Yay! And gross. All right, made it. Eh. There we go. Hey, bowlers aren't allowed in here. Now get for a spray. Here. Don't touch that. That's private. Oh. You and you. Loved her? Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. <laughs> Sorry. Only one more piece of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress. But what if Maligula shows up here? And Ford's not ready. I need to hurry up. We do need to hurry things up. All right. Making good progress, though. So let's, let's see exactly how good of progress we are making. Um, but, 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 let's see. Uh, all right. Fully completed these two brains, and that's nice. Got lots of more work to do with these. Maybe once we've finished all of, uh, Ford's, uh, brain fragments, maybe we'll do a little backtrack to, uh, complete some stuff. Especially now that we've also got the, uh, the bad thought, uh, or idea, or whatever it's called. Ability. Uh, repair for Shattered Mind. Reintegrate Mail Clerk Ford. For that, we need to get access to the secure mail room, and for that, we're gonna need a spare brain, and for that, we're gonna go need to see, uh, we're gonna need to go see Otto. Quite the checklist, but we can do it. Bowling's been fun. All right. Hello, everyone. I don't suppose. I think I've got enough cards now. My favorite customer. There we go. Progress. Very good. And I'm gonna keep saving up because a little more and we'll have that wallet upgrade. Alright. Hello. 
So, let's see. Uh, where's the... There we go. Yep. Okay. So I guess Otto's place is going to be accessed from the quarry. <laughs> there we are. So... Psycho-isolation over there. Uh, still haven't explored that space yet. Also... Oh, Otto's lab, you know, that that makes sense. Well, you know, here, let, let's check this out real quick. Because I bet there's at least a few goodies to get. And then... Then... To Otto's lab. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And then we'll go up here and go exploring a bit. Uh, still real curious how I could get up here. Hmm. Perhaps later. Boing. And, uh, okay. Here we go. Whoop. And yes, all right. Oop, careful. You. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yep. Nope. Yes. Yeah. All right, jumps. Just a little platforming practice for us. Oh. Couldn't hurt. There we go. Hey, goat. How'd you get out here? Okay. Boing. Ooh, key. I want that. Maybe from up here, I can... Yep. Uh, yes. Got it. And then we can grind on over this away. And... Uh, that seems to do nothing. Nope. Oh, is there a correct order? Mm. Oh, there's Here. the correct order right there. No, not the right order. Hang on, I got it this time. There Boom. Go. I knew I was good at science. <laughs> we are, aren't we? And then, yes. That's one rank up for me. One new home for you, side challenge marker. What progress we're making. Anything else? I see a thing over there. I don't know how... Maybe if there was, like, a canoe. There's some more platforming we could do over there. And, like, a treehouse? Oh, I want to see the treehouse. Come on. How to get to the treehouse. Uh, nope. Wrong. There we go. Hey, canoe! Yes! This solves all of our problems. Ah. Yeah! There we go. Hmm. Where to head first? I see something over there. Might have gotten it already. Yeah, I think I might have explored this little corner already. Yeah. Uh, okay, can't go that way, can't go that way. Turn it around. Let's just scope out the seas here. I'm getting God of War flashbacks. Something up there. Maybe, hmm. Oh, you can just climb, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. More stuff over there. This hub world's so large. Hey, goat. Come on. Give. Open. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. A lot of stuff over there near Otto's place. We'll scope that out when we go to visit. Uh... Haven't been back there, I don't think. Hmm. Much to investigate. Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? We did earn that. 
Well, Raz has had a busy week, huh? Pretty much all of these games were taking place in the space of, like, three days, it sounds like. Alright, Raz. Come on, release. Hmm. Maybe. I might just need to climb down. Can't hop there from the boat. That's okay. Wait. Maybe I can get further back here, though. Maybe. Yeah, hey. I see you hiding. Come on. Ah, canoes are hard. Come on, Raz. You can, you can figure this out, buddy. There we go. Ha! Gotcha. Seven out of 18 out here. Gracious. So many hidden goodies. Little island over here. Yeah, which we've been there. Okay, we've, we've jumped across that before. There's our treehouse. And here's a waterfall, which is, I think, where I got this to begin with. Yeah, well... Oh, there's more up there. Goodness. This place is huge. There we are. Okay. Let's scope this out. If you don't enjoy the exploring stuff, I guess just kind of skip ahead a little. <laughs> oh, I just didn't go. Okay, that was just one more uh, corner of this area I'd not checked out yet. Hello? No. <laughs> Saved it. There we go. Okay. Now we go up here. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Too far. Too far. Oh, no. That set us back. Okay. Take two. Here we go. And... Yep. All right. Ah, oh, we're going to float. Okay. Cool. That's how we're going to get up there. Uh, ha! Yes! Good. This Mine. Too to leave out here. I agree. All right, that way to the questionable area. And there's definitely some more things to get there, but I'll be, I'll be heading back there soon enough, probably. There's a thing out there. I don't know how. Maybe from the treehouse. Treehouse. Let's go to the treehouse. Uh, just as soon as I can figure out how to get back to my canoe. Whoop. Whee. Ah. Uh, Platforming in this is quite fun. I enjoyed the platforming in Psychonauts 1 as well, though I will certainly grant it can be a little rough around the edges occasionally. Yep. It's feeling more polished in this one, though. Ah, boy. Eh, there we go. Yes. Now, let me in the boat. I just want in the boat. There we are. Treehouse. There we are. Let me in. I want to explore. Um, okay. I'm hearing tunes. Sibling? Sibling, are you here? Oh, oh, this is the radio station. Hey! So this is where you two live. Hey, Gisu. Mutant Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. Guilty. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? I kind of am. Whatever it is, I'm into it. Wow, even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psycho seismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Problem is, he kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. I thought instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory. You want me to do it? For extra credit, you're welcome. And to free me up for more high-minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, Rex. Wait. You said yes? All right. Good man. <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? I will. Thanks for the assignment. I was wondering how to deal with those things. Uh, you. Hey, guys. Uh, busted. Now we've got to burn this site and find a new base of operations. What? Pirate radio, Gisu. 
gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Relax, Morris. I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. That's true. Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. So, why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm gonna do it. With radio. Have you... told her about this yet? No, I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report, so I can show her how effective it is. I guess okay. that makes sense. I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha <laughs> ha. I very much want to see all these posters and stuff. Okay, so we got Clob 95 and a half, which is, I guess, this. I came out here looking for something. What was it? These oh, posters. Right. A brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford. We're and getting there. Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. One thing at a time. Auto live at the lobe. The fire starters. Hey, and brain stains. Good for the fire starters. Finally getting the uh, band off the ground. Subconscious, live at the landing pad Sunday, all ages, free show. Uh, the occipital lobe, free dance, cognition, no fun, PSI, Sunday, Sundays, blast cap, Becky's, all ages, never enough Nicks. <laughs> uh, all Paul. <laughs> Paul L, Paul M, and Paul O. <laughs> Uh, very good. I like it. All right. Well, I don't know how to deal with those things that Gisu's told me to deal with, but I have the assignment, so I probably can do it. Boing. Uh, oh. How do I get further up? Eh. Well, there's this. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm so glad that even though we are not at camp anymore, I'm glad that in this sort of a uh, world hub, they still have found ways to sort of still capture that campground vibe, which keeps it feeling familiar and psycho Nazi while still being a new, different place. Like this, the camp is only a small part of uh, of this new area. I like it. How would I get out there? like we'd need a wind gust i think because we can't we can't just hop out of the canoe up there we can't float all the way there oh we could in the old days but now we can't so it won't reach huh hmm maybe from a higher vantage point we can see something i don't see any other gusts Huh. Yep, just gonna be baffled on that one for a bit. Yep. That's fine. Whee. Careful. There we go. All right. Well, I'll get you later. I think it's time to go see Otto. Ah, uh, just like it can. We have put things off enough. Thanks for being patient with my exploration. It's going to happen from time to time because, again, I'm feeling completionist about this one. I don't get that way about a lot of games, but about a new Psychonauts, finally? Definitely. All right, where do we dock? There we go. There we go. Yes. All right. Let's get to uh, work. There we go. Yes. Anything to see? Oh, there's a bridge. Where does this go? Hey, where does this go? Guy. Careful. Looks like you're starting to burn a little. Oh man, the other guards are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> can we can we go this way? <laughs> Sorry. Automobiles only. And apparently beat up circus caravans. Where's that road go? Just to the highway and the questionable area. Ooh! I've always wanted to go to the questionable area. Oh, that's too bad. The only way to get there on foot is through the old mine. And that's a death trap. Thanks. 
<laughs> I probably just saved your life. The heartbeat of the mother lobe. You know, that record sounds better every time I hear it. Don't you agree? I can't wait to hear it again. Let's get back to the music here on KLOB. Love it. And I've already been to the questionable area. That cave's nothing. Ooh, gee. Come on, give me the stuff. I'll just drop it in the water. Give it to me. And give me that key. Come on. Key. Okay, but seriously. Auto. I would love to have a chat with Auto. We've not gotten to hang out enough. Hello? Um. Nice rug. Auto? Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Ooh. I like it. Auto, this seems excessive. Auto? Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Thank you. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry. Machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. <laughs> Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent 9 seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, I would. Oh, man. All of them, please. Um, man, where to start? Well, let's talk some more. I bet you got more to say. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. Ah, wink, this wink. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. Ooh. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. Hmm, Otto has loaned Raz some gadgets to help in his adventures. These can be activated by holding right or left. Try them out for more info. Oh, I will. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. You're welcome. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. Still suspecting you and uh, Mr. Zanato most of all, I think. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. I really want to go in your brain. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he's unable to tell us where to look for it. Tough break. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Citanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. Very, very uh, humorous. Thank you. 
All right, well, back to work for you. Let's see about these new devices. Uh, left. People might think this thought tuner looks dorky, but I think it's cool. <laughs> the thought tuner lets Raz tune into the energy of stray thoughts floating around the physical world. With the gadget equipped, hold right trigger to get into details search mode. Just follow the beeps. Huh. Uh, let's start tuning. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I'm picking anything up. Perhaps. Hmm. Perhaps I'll need to try this outside. Do, 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 do. Interesting, though. Seems like it could work sort of like the dousing rod from uh, the first game, in theory. But yeah, nothing so far. That's enough of that. Uh... The auto shot camera allows Raz to take photos in both the physical and mental worlds. Additional filters can be purchased at the automatic to add style to your photos. Ah, photography mode. Very nice. You know, I never really end up using these in most games, but it's cool they exist. People seem to enjoy them, and that's good. All right, time to steal. Got to take everything not nailed down and then back to business. And we should be able to just do 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 right over this, and yes. Uh, close. Raz, come on. Third time's the charm. There you go, buddy. Approved hazing rituals for new agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. I'm gonna have to read these descriptions later. I'm getting so good at collecting slash stealing things. And I haven't figured out how to get past these yet. I'm guessing there's a new ability I don't have yet. Uh, also, there's this thing, which, whoo, that's a lot of brains. That's probably where I'm going to get one, huh? That would work. Oh, there's more stuff up there. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. And go this way, and then... Uh, yes, good. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Gimme. Anything else? Feel like I got a lot of it now. Alright. Let's check out this interesting machine. Which is, I believe, the machine from the title screen. Voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are, and their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the Psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. <laughs> all right, then. The Hall of Brains and Unprocessed Minds. Uh, browse currently active brain experiments. Evaluate unprocessed minds for assignment and dispersal. Okay. Um, well, let's start with the Hall of Brains. A through M, A M through A W. But I think I know what this is. Hang on. You know, sometimes you see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. <laughs> a Alley, cause of death, digital drawing. Codename, Kettle. And psychic specialty is the uh, invisibility, I think. These are the backers. That's so good. So good. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, well, now we gotta... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where will I be? Aha! There we are. Damaged. 
<laughs> Daniel Floyd, cause of death making videos. Yep, that's the truth. Codename Toaster. Psychic speciality is time bubble or time control? Boy, I wish. <laughs> uh, was the videos that done me in. I wonder if I know... I think I do know a few other people in here. Hang on. I'm going to go see if I can track them down real quick. Hey, Jeffrey Thu. Check out the smug look on this <laughs> Cause of death anime. Yeah, that tracks. The humble spatula. <laughs> uh, good times. Wait, I know another one. Hang on. Ha, Barry. Cause of death smiling politely. Cheese grater. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a lovely way to get all of the backers into the game. Man, I backed this years ago. <laughs> no regrets. This has paid off extremely. All right, unprocessed minds. Let's go. Uh, John Doe brains. It. Hmm. Heptodome Harry Abby Normal Jane Doe Composite Brain Brain Z M W one sixty four H and John Doe. Huh. Interesting. So these are all locked. Heptodome Harry is not. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Cause of death, abandonment? Release authorized. Press A to dispense. Found in the Heptodome. Hmm. Okay. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. Oh, are we going in? I hope you don't mind poppins. Now this is interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words? You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well... Basically, right now, you're a kind of a brain in a jar. Uh huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe, or when I destroyed it. <laughs> Whoa. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. There that we go. Brain will travel back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Yeah. All right then. Um, it's interesting. We've got some more 
brain unprocessed minds in here, though. Abby Normal, Jane Doe, Composite Brain. But they're locked, though. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. Well, we got what we need for now. Auto, I'm borrowing this. Also, some brand new items here. Hey, I can afford a thing. By which I mean, well, hey, that's some new items. Uh, filter through titanium. Oh, they're like filters for the camera. Ah, cute. Uh, but no, I need this. Thank you. Just what I was going to recommend. Ah, now I can hold so darn many of the titaniums. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Yes. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. That's comforting to know. I'm gonna go outside and try that the uh, headset again. Cause now I'm curious. Uh, heck, put it on now. Okay. Let's see if there are any stray thoughts around here. Really curious what the stray thoughts are. Oop. Just a little farther. I hear beeps. Whoop. Where are you? Is this... Is this it? Are we here? Did we do it? Uh... Ooh! Okay. Okay, cool. Um... Oh, I don't have... Don't have it equipped. Uh, some folks said, uh, and have given me a handy tip, and maybe this will help some of y'all as well, uh, that... You don't technically need to have levitation equipped to one of these slots. If you wanted to, you could go into the settings, into controls, and swap it to where triple jump uh, puts you into glide mode. And then from there, so like triple jump, bam, you've got that all the time and it doesn't have to be in one of your slots. And uh, you could also set it up to, and I do have this set, where if you're in glide mode and you hit jump again, it instantly drops the ball down beneath you, which is good. That is an ability I like, I'm keeping that. So you can just swap between the two, super easy. I found that I didn't really enjoy the uh, triple jumping being the solution for how you get rid of, uh, or for how you enter levitation mode. The other reason I don't like it is because you can't, uh, I guess you can, like, you can tap the ability again to get rid of the, you have to tap the levitation ability uh, again to get rid of the ball. Otherwise, I don't know how you get rid of the ball. <laughs> I, I like it much better being able to like, just have it set to a trigger that I can hold and control here and uh, turn on and off super easy. But uh, I I do like having the ability to uh, jump again to uh, pull the ball beneath you. That'll be super handy. So I'm leaving that on. The uh, triple jump doesn't really do it for me, though. So let's turn that back off. Handy ability for some folks, though. So if you uh, own the game and haven't tried that out yet, might be worth giving a little try. Cool, though. All right, uh, let's... Whoop. There we go. Yeah. I'll bet there are some of these inside... Inside the, uh... You know, the uh, atrium area. And that's how I'm gonna get up top. To those floating platforms. Ah, it's all coming together. Okay. All right. Now we need to get back inside. Is there an automatic or autobahn or whatever they're called? Nearby? I don't think so. I guess there was one inside, but... Whatever, I I have a Norseman's badge. No. Eh, it's away. Where is a port? I need to dock. Does this count? I don't think this counts. Hmm. Come on, we gotta have a a dock for our main area. Got to. How do I get back otherwise? Other than using, I guess, one of the, uh... Automatics. Eh. Hang on. Wait, there's also gonna be some floating platforms too, right? Yeah, there we go. Almost forgot about those. Okay. Whoop. Yeah! Alright! And we're back! Hooray! Have I gone up here yet? I don't know if I have. Here we go. I went up the other side. I just don't know if I came here. Oh, 
Hey. Ah, who says agents don't have any sense of humor? We do. <laughs> so you're the ones I've been randomly hearing thinking. I'm not the mole. Uh huh. Bigelow, I've definitely been hearing your thoughts around. Uh, I dread to think, but how do you see me? Yeah, I kind of, kind of figured. Same for you, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. What have you the- hey! I'll ask you your thoughts later. Okay. Let's get a brain back in a mailroom guy. Eh. Alright. I'm back. Hello, hello. Scanning access. Granted. Thank you. And I'm back. And this is going to work. Yes. Yes. Straight thoughts. Ha ha. Knew it. But there's more too. Hey, did you steal it from my desk? Yes. 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 Warmer. What? Found some thoughts. Ha ha. But there's more around too. Let's get them all. Um. Well. Maybe not. Might have found all of them. That's fine. Let's use what we got. Whoop. Oh yeah, this will get us around. Just about everywhere we're gonna go. Hello, my feet. Better grab this before it hurts somebody. Um. Whoop. And there we go. I'll take that card. Thank you. And yes, ah, oh, feels so good to finally get all these things. All right, then. I think... I think that's all of them. Very good. Okay. To the mailroom, then. Scanning access granted. We've got a mentor to... kind of fix. This is a temporary fix. Nick! TV? Nick. Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh. <laughs> Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light. Dark. And every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is um. this room? And how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang. There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness. Oneness. Nothingness. 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 Is this cashmere? It's too delicious. <laughs> This is fine. I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. Me also. I think it's going to be very intense in there, but we got to do it. It's a psychonaut's job, probably. Take care, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow for whatever the heck is going to happen in there. We'll find out together. Indeed. Goodbye.